Six, this is Dave Schurter. Um, this is my video for the day. We were watching, um, like, Anthony Bourdain committed suicide. Um, people are losing hope. That's why the CDC has reported that suicides are up 25%. Um, this is all symbolic of the end. Um, I mean, there's so much going on that is symbolic of the end. Wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes in various places, volcanoes that haven't gone off in uh, thousands of years exploding. We are at the birth pains, and I wanted to do a video for those of you who are losing hope, because it says in the end that people will lose hope, they'll give up. And we're seeing so much chaos right now. Um, the fact that Russia and the United States are working together was written a long time ago. It's, it's part of all of this. Two superpowers get together and create destruction. Um, it's obviously being pushed because um, that Judge Napolo or whoever the frick she is, she's irritating that Fox commentator, who now reportedly wants to become um, takeover sessions job says that, oh, building the embassy, or setting the embassy in Jerusalem is fulfilling biblical prophecy. Yeah, probably, but of course, those who did that, as it was written, were the bad guys. You know, they, they, they were the ones who want to do the sacrifice in Jerusalem to set themselves up as God. And if most people discredit the Bible, but they haven't even read it, it says that God is going to delude this side. It, that he's going to convince them of their own power. This all has to happen. They can only be judged by that which they do. And the stuff that we're going through are the birth pains of something greater. They'll send out, you know, they're, they're doing everything they can to say, don't believe in God. Don't, don't believe in God. And pretty much the reason why is because they're trying to set themselves up as the real power. But they're not. It's, you know, it's deluded. That's, people have said that Donald Trump was, um, is president because it was God's will. I believe that. Because Donald Trump is a false prophet. And we are all in a period of judgment. So those who follow this false prophet will be, will be led right into the abyss. And they'll say, oh, well, God can't be loving because what kind of loving God would put his children in hell? God doesn't put us in hell. If you end up in the darkness, you did so by your own free will. You know, God told us what would happen. Just because we don't like it doesn't mean that, you know, we were warned. We were warned, you know. It's a, like a parent saying, if you stick your hand in fire, you're going to get burnt. And so you stick your hand in the fire and you blame your parents, you know. We all need to have hope. All of this is happening because something greater is coming. Something amazing is coming. And the spirit manifests the flesh. It's the first law of physics that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Our souls are energy, which means that death is an illusion on this side. In this realm, death exists. But does real death exist? Do our spirits die? Nah. And so just keep faith. Keep going. You know, it's... It's going to get hard, you know? That was the hold. There would be a great gnashing of teeth. It's going to be hard. But we were never told that it would be easy, just that it would be worth it. And in the end, what is one life to give to God? And I'm not talking um, the, the Bible and, and Christianity or, or any religion. 
We are told to follow the word. The word is love. We are supposed to love each other. I don't, I've never understood the arguments against that. You know, I've never understood the arguments against that. And yeah, it's hard. Trust me, I know it's hard. But we have to do what we need to do. And that's persevere. Love as much as you can. Try and help each other as much as you can. Keep going, no matter how hard it is. And you don't have to believe in some dude up in the sky, because I don't believe that's the way it is. But there is a higher power. There is something greater than us. Trust in it. And uh, if you are so sad and so suicidal go out and help people because someone always has it worse than you and when you're helping them you're helping yourself because you feel better about your own life so have faith and reach out if you're losing hope and you're wanting to kill yourself reach out and and reach out because there's plenty of people who will be there that would would help you if they know so that's my video for the day. It's just that we got to get through this time. We got to get through it because there's way more at stake than just this existence and this life. And so that's my video for the day.